Good morning, everybody. It's Laura Steineman, and I'm here to share something really cool. I am going, I get lots of questions about, well, what do you plug into? What do you read? How do you know what to do with your business? How, how have you created all this business growth? And so, you know, the biggest tip is leaders are readers. Okay. So my first tip to you is this book, Playing Big, um, written by Tara Moore. And I'm going to give you eight of my biggest takeaways. I took some notes here real quick, so I'm going to go through these notes and share them with you. Um, so I hope that it's really beneficial. And, you know, this video is really dedicated to honor all the people who have poured into me and coached me and helped me along the way. And so I'm really grateful to pay this forward to you. Okay, so let's take it away. So tip number one is is inner critic. So we all have this inner critic, this voice in our head that we play round and round. The inner critic is actually there. It's to, to save us, you know, to protect us, to keep us from getting our feelings hurt, um, to keep us safe, all those kinds of things, okay? But many times that inner critic can hold us back from playing big. My takeaway number two is the voice of inner wisdom. And I never really thought about me having inner wisdom, I always thought I needed to seek wisdom from out and, and bring it in. Actually, we do. We all have this voice of inner wisdom. I know this will sound kind of like fruity, fruity, um, but I actually got to meet, you know, like my future self and, and see some of that um, inner wisdom. Go ahead and read chapter two. It'll, it'll make sense. I promise it's not too crazy. And, and so that was really cool to know that I have it in me to solve problems and I can and I have that inner wisdom there to help tame the critic okay and I love how she lays that all out okay tip number three is fear all right she teaches how to recognize the fear you know so we all have fear right it's always going to be there um, but how to recognize it how to categorize it and then she provided the tools to manage it so I think that's my biggest takeaway to share in the video is that we have fear that's normal, that is completely normal to have fear and learn how to manage it, okay? And number four is unhooking from praise and criticism. This was chapter four and I'll tell you, it took me a while to get through this chapter because I had to work on this part of me and it was hard. Like I didn't want to read it, okay? But man, when I got through it, it was amazing because she gave the skills and the tools and the, you know, and I was able to learn that skill set <laughs> to, to learn how to not only unhook from the criticism, you know, because we're going to get that. If we're playing big, we are going to get criticism, but also unhook from the praise because the criticism and the praise is coming from when, when people give that, it's coming from their values, you know, and their experiences, okay? And so we need to really focus on what are our values and what, you know, what's, why are we doing this and really know our own hearts and, and where we're coming from. And so that was really powerful, very powerful for me. And number five of the eight tips is hiding, okay? So let's just kind of recap for a second here. Tip number one is the inner critic. Tip number two, voice of inner wisdom. Number three, fear. Four, unhooking from praise and criticism. Now number five is a little bit longer and it's hiding. And I'm gonna give you some of my biggest takeaways from the hiding. Okay, so these are some ways where we can, we a lot of times as women especially, will hide from playing big. And um, designing at the whiteboard. So do we catch ourselves, you know, at our laptops creating something or uh, for our clients or our customers or maybe people we're going to help with a service um, and we're not really sharing what we're doing, right? And we're not really getting feedback, okay? That's a way to hide and we're not playing big when we do that. Number two, are we overcomplicating and endlessly polishing everything? 
Okay, are we falling into that perfectionism trap? Okay, so there's definitely a time where we we definitely want to make things look really good, obviously, um, but we also don't want it to be holding us back from playing big. So there's, you know, and she talks about that toggle. Okay, omitting our own story. So are you omitting your story? And is that holding you back from playing big? Because our stories are so powerful and to connect and relate with people. And so omitting our stories can keep us and hold us back from playing big. Number four, and the fourth thing for hiding is that the I need a degree mentality and women especially will fall into this trap where we think, oh, I need this certification or I need this degree or I need to do blah, blah, blah for then this to happen. No, not always. And I like how she goes through when we do need the education and when we don't and we're using it as an excuse. So I found that to be really powerful. Okay, number six of my eight takeaways is leaping, leaping. This helps to conquer the fear. And she talks about how we can leap, how we can play big. You know, for how that looks for us, we're all going to be a little different. Okay, number seven is communicating with power. This chapter was really, really cool because she helped with languaging. And I would say my biggest takeaway was the word just. When we put just in our sentences, it negates all the power. And I don't mean power in in a bad way. I mean power like in a positive, affirmative way very helpful way okay so for example oh I just wanted to share with you okay no like that just negates all the power it sounds like we're being apologetic that that oh we're wasting someone's time no like if you have something really important to share you know that's not wasting their time and you know what was the most interesting for me as I've been working on taking just out of my vocabulary? It's been really hard. <laughs> so I'm working on it. I'm a work in progress. I found I was doing it with my kids. So I was negating all my power as a mom of my influence over my kids when I would ask them for things and say just, you know, like, would you just put your shoes away, right? Like I'm negating everything that I was saying. So um, that's been really cool to even help as a mom. And then number eight was callings. And this chapter actually flowed really easy for myself um, because it just... It reaffirmed everything that that I've worked towards, everything that I'm doing with my business and my personal life. Um, and, And so that felt really good for me. And I also appreciated how she set the chapter up because it could help that person who may still be, you know, you still might be like, what am I supposed to do with my life? Um, What is my calling? Should I do, you know, it it helps you work through all of those things. So I liked how the chapter can help people in different levels, you know, wherever they are in that, that journey. So let's recap the eight tips, inner critic, voice of inner wisdom, fear, unhooking from the praise and criticism, hiding, leaping, communicating with power, and callings. So those are my eight biggest takeaways from playing big with Tara Moore. And stay tuned because I have a really cool book club that's coming up where we're going to dive deeper into this book coming up in October. Um, I'm really excited to do that with you all. I had the privilege of doing this myself. And so I'm just really looking forward to it. So please, if you enjoyed this um, and found it helpful, go ahead and subscribe. So that way you'll get to see all the future tools that I share and share this. If you found benefit, share this with the people that you know. And also if you can like my page where I'm paying it forward with business and leadership tips, I would be ever so grateful and this information would get to the people that need it the most. All right. Bye, everybody. Have a great day.